I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a, I don't know how to say it, diapason, di diapason? Diapason. Diapason. The emphasis is on the, ah, diapason, I guess. We just decided that right now. We should probably look that up in the dictionary. I'm sure we could see the little accent. Okay, anyway, so <clears throat> this this piano is six foot nine, which which I am a huge proponent, huge fan. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I love size. The bigger, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Personally, I have a piano this size in my living room. I actually have two pianos in my living room. I have a big... In your house. Or, or sorry, sorry, in my house. <laughs> Uh, a big nine-footer in the living room, and then in the family room, we have this Hyloon right here, this five-foot-four. Anyway, but the point is I like size. I like big. And six-foot-nine, that's awesome. And, and that, I would say, is, other than looking really nice, is possibly this piano's greatest asset. It has other assets. You'll hear it here in a second. It sounds, it sounds really good. And it's, uh, um, I guess, another pretty significant asset is value. This piano, for, for a six foot nine piano, you'd be very hard pressed to find one that's in, that's in this good condition, this, this piano overall. Cosmetically, it's in A condition. Functionally, it's in A condition. You'd be very, very hard pressed to find a piano that's in A condition, both cosmetically and functionally, that is above six, six and a half feet um, for for such a good price. So that is a pretty significant asset of this piano as well. Okay, Diapason is manufactured in the Kawai factory. It's the Kawai is kind of their main brand and then they've got, they've got a number of other brands that they manufacture. Actually Boston is one of the, one of the brands that, that, uh, that Kawai manufactures. They manufactured with the whole, um, what do they say, designed by Steinway to, to kind of um, borrow some of the, that prestige that, that Steinway has, even though it's, just, it's, a, it's a Kawhi piano in the same way that this is basically a Kawhi piano manufactured there. Okay, this piano has been totally refurbished and it, and it took to the refurbishing really, really well. Generally, uh, a piano, if you're, if you're watching this, you're probably in the piano market. If you're looking elsewhere at used pianos, um, be, be, you, you should be aware that, that a piano uh, is not like a fine wine or something that gets better with age. It's more like an automobile. A car that just gets worse with age, the first day off the lot, it just goes downhill from there. That's the same thing with a piano. And pianos do last a lot longer than cars do. They, they really have about 20 to 25 years of, of good use, then they need to be refurbished, and then they've got another 20 or 25 years. And after repeating that cycle once or twice or three times, then you start to need to replace components. Or if a piano is played really heavily, like for example, in, the, uh, in practice rooms of a university, pianos are gonna get played um, at least eight hours a day and probably more like 18 hours a day from like 6 a.m. to midnight those pianos they need rebuilding after i know i know byu piano shop for example uh, they will restring pianos that are that are that heavy use um, after after three four or or five years at the most but i digress um, so this this piano wasn't played terribly heavily so, so refurbishing was, was more than sufficient for what it needed, and it, and it just did, it did great. So the refurbishing kinds of things that, just a quick, a quick um, uh, overview of what that entails, would be cleaning, of course, pianos, every, every piano older than five or 10 years old is completely filthy, needs to be, um, hammers need to be reshaped, alignment, lubrication, tightening, full regulation, trap work. At this piano, we also refinished it, so it's not only in great shape functionally, which, which actually is as, as, as big a job as refinishing it is, the majority of the work is on the guts. That's where the, that's where the massive work takes place. You can see the cosmetics and then inside, everything just looks really clean and beautiful and 
I would not say A plus, but I would say A. For, a, for, a, for an older piano, well, this is an older, I, I actually don't know the year. I would guess um, it wasn't in our book to look up the year, but I would guess probably right around maybe 1980 or so. That's, that's just a guess. That's not um, gospel truth. For, for a 1980, this piano would probably, you could probably say A plus because the vast majority of pianos that are 1980, they are uh, far, far worse. So, so I would say A compared to a, a brand new piano like, like this. Okay, let's listen to it. I mentioned a minute ago that it has a really nice power because of its size. Which I think that power is most manifest in the bass. nice piano so uh, so I would I would guess having done this for many many years the person that that uh, this piano would would probably be the best fit for is is someone that uh, that plays well and that and that plays a lot because I think I think this piano will be able to handle the beating and someone that likes power especially in the bass someone that likes bass like I do and someone that um, doesn't have um, forty, fifty thousand dollars to throw around. This piano is a fraction of that, so you get all of that for much, much, le much, much less than um, you would expect. Thanks for watching.